We have another new exciting project launching on Cardano this week. And to make it even better, it's an AI, which I have been all over if you've been watching this channel. So in this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about Farm Roll and their upcoming Roll token. And before getting into this, make sure to subscribe and check out our free Discord in the description of this video, Jelly Cubes, where we go over all these different plays in the space. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, I have been all over AI projects. And the reason is, is because I think it is very early and these different projects that are building within AI have the chance to go on the biggest runs this year in my opinion. Always do your own research but that's just what I'm feeling and even though most of these different projects are launching on Solana or base I do think it's worth paying attention to AI related projects especially the infrastructure and framework related ones on other chains such as Cardano and that's what we're now seeing with Farmroll. Farmroll has been around for nearly a year and they really started started off as a social fi type platform where they had all these different social engagement tasks in order to give additional exposure to different projects. But since October, they have been spending more time and resources building out AI agents and providing the infrastructure and framework for other projects to easily launch their own AI agents. So if you go onto their main farm roll site, you're actually going to be able to look at both the AI agents they've launched in the past, such as the first one, which was Glitch, over on Cardano, and you'll also be able to see the different projects that already signed up for their social fi campaigns. So for example, I can look at their different projects, complete these different tasks, such as following their X account or joining their Discord, be able to get points, and then with these points, projects are able to reward their tokens. So for the longest time, they've had this social fi aspect where projects can get the exposure and in exchange actually distribute those tokens to everyone participating. Now, what I find really interesting is they're taking this social fi concept, but now they're rolling it into their roll token. Meaning on their platform, they have created a way for you to easily be able to launch your own AI agents, no code needed. And then they're using this social fi aspect in order to increase the exposure and engagement to anyone trying to launch a token with their own AI agent. Now I've personally been talking to ICE behind the scenes, just trying to learn a little bit more about farm roll and their token. And they have a lot of different updates there about to happen for their AI agents. Things that can help projects with their marketing, with their exposure, with customer service, and even things like analyzing a bunch of on-chain data on Cardano and other chains as well. And their main focus has been building out this framework. So if people don't know anything about code or AI agents, they can easily launch their own on the platform. And they're even trying to do what Virtuals has done, which is make a whole entire marketplace and trading platform all within their own site, as long as they get the funding from this upcoming sale. Speaking of sales, their roll token is going to be launching on MinSwap's launch bowl on February 3rd. And this roll token is going to be the cornerstone of their social fi as well as AI agent platform. So you're going to need this roll token to do different campaign launches. You're going to be able to stake it and earn a yield from the protocol. You're going to have different upgrade mechanics for AI agents needing this farm roll token in order to improve them. They have governance, they have different liquidity. They're going to have different AI airdrops. If you're someone who's staking your AI tokens and people have agents and they want to airdrop everyone that's staking their role and a bunch of other stuff, such as even having native transactions. The team have really taken their inspiration from other platforms such as Virtuals that's had a lot of success over on base, for example. As far as their tokenomics go, 50% of these tokens are going to go for the sale and another 10% is for liquidity, which is going to make up the 60% circulating supply. They then have market marketing development advisors, airdrops, and platform incentives all going to have a one month cliff minimum. And then it's going to be vested over a period of time. And the same thing goes for their team, but I believe their cliff invest is actually much longer. To summarize the utility a little bit further, role is going to be for all these different campaign creations, AI agent upgrades, different exclusive access, such as being able to get into airdrops, governance, and native transactions, which all facilitate seamlessly through the farm roles gamified economy. The main premise here is that if this AI agent infrastructure and framework platform does well, backed by those social fi aspects, then this actual role token is going to be able to get you different airdrops from these AI agents that are building on the platform, as well as a share in the revenue generated from the protocol. The last major thing that I wanted to bring up here is their tokenomics.
Comics, which the team actually reached out to me to see if I could give any pointers, and I gave them some pointers. So the way this sale is going to work is there's going to be 1 billion total tokens, and there is a minimum of a 500,000 ADA range with a maximum of 2.5 million ADA, and this is all going to happen on a pro rata over on MinSwap. The sale is going to start on February 3rd and last 48 hours, and any unsold tokens are going to be burned, and if they don't hit this minimum of 500,000 ADA, they're simply going to refund everyone that participated. What's really interesting here is 60% of the supply is circulating right away, and the less amount of money that's sent in, the lower the market cap in FDV you're actually buying in at. So for example, if they only hit their 500,000 ADA level, the starting circulating market cap is going to be 600,000 ADA with a 1 million ADA FDV. If they hit 1 million ADA, 1.2 million ADA circulating in a 2 million ADA FDV. So this is one of those situations where if they actually hit their max at 2.5 million, you're getting in at around 3 million circulating or 5 million FDV. But for whatever reason, if they get lower than that max amount, you are going to get increasingly a better deal on your actual tokens because they're burning any of the tokens that aren't sold. Now, always do your own research, guys, and realize that depending on how much ADA they're able to raise, their capabilities of a project are going to be limited by that. Overall, I definitely think it's a project worth paying attention to. And once again, very similar to Cardano Stocks, if you watch that video, they were actually nice enough to give me 1.5% of their token supply. And once again, instead of keeping it for myself, I'm just going to give it to everyone in the Jelly fam. So one month after their token sale, once I get those tokens, I'm gonna put it up on our Jelly Pad site and you'll be able to get a share of the tokens using our Jelly token. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll have all the links in the description and I'll catch y'all later.